All right. Today I'm going to be explaining the pronunciation system with pictures or how this system works. In this opportunity, um, I'm going to try to illustrate the 15 vowel sounds with pictures. For example, we have the we have this picture which is the picture of a green T E. This picture illustrates the vowel E, which is the long vowel. Over here, we have the different spelling patterns that we find the vowel E or the picture green T E. Over here, we have the patterns. If the students, and I have used this method before, and it has given me great result because it is easier for students to remember the picture, the visual representation of the sound, than the, um, uh, the phonetic representation of it. Once the student recognizes the picture and the patterns, they will or they're going to be able to establish a connection between the picture and the patterns. Once they do that, they're going to be able to produce their own pronunciation and therefore um, they're going to have an improved pronunciation or a better pronunciation. Over here, I'm going to explain how the system works. First, a picture. This is the picture. The picture gives a visual representation of the sound that students need to learn. Here is the picture of the vowel E. Students must pronounce green T E and they establish that connection with the different spelling patterns. Another element that students need to learn is the element three, which is the spelling or different spelling patterns that represent the 15 vowel sounds. And what is spelling pattern? Spelling pattern is a combination of vowels and or consonants, those patterns are the connection between the picture. How the reading system works. All right. The first thing students need to learn are the spelling patterns. Over here, in the previous uh, uh, representation of the system, I have the seven spelling patterns that represent the picture green T E. So the exercise that the students need to do before is to learn the uh, the pronunciation of the visual representation of the sound which is green T E. After they pronounce this one, they must read the word. Green T E read C please esteem. Let's say that's that one student pronounced the picture correctly, but the word was not pronounced correctly. Green T E read. So immediately, the system tells uh, the students that there's no connection between the picture and the pattern or the words. So that tells students mm, something is not okay, something is wrong. So with this exercise of pronouncing the picture, green T-E plus the different 
words that contain the spelling patterns that represent the picture, students are going to be able to establish a connection. Right? So this is how the system works. Students need to um, pronounce the picture and then establish a connection between the patterns and the pictures. So this is the introduction of how the system uh, is used to teach pronunciation, using pictures to teach pronunciation. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down over here. How many sounds will I learn? How many sounds of English? In this occasion, I'm going to be introducing only two sounds. The green T E, which is the long E of English, and the silver pen E, which is the short E of English. Two vowels only. So, I hope... Um, you have understood the basics of the system, which is establishing, establishing a connection between the picture and the patterns. Once students have established a connection between these two elements, their pronunciation is going to be way better. So this is um, my uh, hypothesis in regards to the system. Thank you.